Something remarkable just happened in China's defense technology landscape. An entirely new type of radar hunting drone has officially entered service. The ASN-301 isn't just another drone. It's a mobile, precision-guided system that can detect and disable radar networks across vast distances. Recently tested by China's Eastern Theater Command, this marks a turning point in how nations may handle electronic surveillance and defense systems. China's new ASN-301 loitering drone has officially transitioned from concept to reality. This precision-guided system is designed to locate and neutralize active radar sources that form the backbone of air defense networks. Footage released by China's Eastern Theater Command confirms the drone's operational readiness. The launch platform is mounted on a FA MV36 by 6 tactical truck, a versatile vehicle long used for artillery and missile transport, outfitted with six sealed canisters that can each deploy a drone. Once launched, the ASN-301 uses a cold launch mechanism, igniting its small piston engine mid-air before extending its delta-shaped wings. It can remain airborne for up to four hours, covering approximately 288 kilometers with a maximum speed of around 220 kilometers per hour. Weighing about 135 kilograms and spanning 2.2 meters, the drone's compact form hides a potent payload, a high-explosive fragmentation warhead packed with 7,000 preformed fragments and triggered by a laser proximity fuse. What sets the ASN-301 apart is its ability to detect radar signals between 2 and 16 GHz, the same frequency range used by many surveillance and targeting radars worldwide. It features an onboard radar homing seeker with a 25-kilometer detection radius, allowing it to pinpoint and engage active emitters with high precision. Navigation is handled by a GPS inertial guidance system and some configurations reportedly allow in-flight updates for dynamic targeting adjustments. In simpler terms, once radar emissions are detected, the drone locks on, dives, and detonates close enough to disable antennas and electronic arrays without requiring direct impact. Its modular design also means multiple units can be launched simultaneously for coordinated coverage. Each truck can deploy a salvo of six drones, quickly relocate, and prepare for another launch ensuring continuous operational readiness. The operational debut of the ASN-301 introduces a new challenge for radar-dependent systems in the Indo-Pacific region. Countries such as Japan, Taiwan, and the U.S. Forward Deployed Forces rely heavily on radar for early warning, tracking, and coordination. The ASN-301's precision targeting of radar emissions disrupts this foundation, creating what analysts call sensor blindness. In practical terms, when a radar station or ship activates its emitters, the ASN-301 can detect those signals, lock onto them, and approach silently until detonation. This forces radar operators into a strategic dilemma. Keep systems on and risk exposure, or turn them off and lose situational awareness. Either choice weakens the effectiveness of integrated air and sea surveillance networks. What makes the situation more complex is the drone's loitering capability. Instead of striking immediately, the ASN-301 can wait in the air for hours near a region of interest. This persistence allows it to monitor radar activity and attack the moment a signal becomes active. Traditional anti-radiation missiles offer only a brief engagement window. Loitering drones like the ASN-301 extend that window dramatically. By integrating six launch tubes per truck, China can coordinate several drones in a single salvo, saturating an area's defensive network. Each drone can autonomously hunt a different radar frequency, effectively overwhelming coverage zones. This creates temporary blackouts in detection fields, potentially exposing valuable assets like surveillance aircraft or naval vessels to undetected approaches. Beyond tactical implications, this capability represents a shift in how nations will think about electronic protection. Modern defense systems rely on a web of sensors, each feeding data into shared command centers. When even part of that web goes dark, the entire structure becomes less reliable. The ASN-301's precision targeting of these links doesn't just disable hardware. It undermines confidence in the broader defense network. 
The real significance here lies in flexibility. The system's mobility allows rapid deployment from various terrains, coastal zones, mountain bases, or mobile launch points. Combined with its range and low cost compared to traditional missiles, it grants decision-makers more options for suppressing detection systems. The ASN-301's emergence is part of a larger movement transforming modern defense technology, the rise of intelligent, affordable, and autonomous loitering systems. Over the last decade, loitering drones have evolved from experimental tools into essential assets. They blend the patience of surveillance drones with the precision of guided weapons, operating autonomously while remaining inexpensive enough for mass deployment. These systems represent a new balance between cost, endurance, and effectiveness, allowing smaller, more agile forces to achieve the kind of precision once limited to major powers. They also demonstrate how innovation and automation is reshaping strategic thinking, making adaptability and digital coordination just as vital as firepower itself. China's fielding of the ASN-301 highlights a shift from traditional missile strikes toward more distributed, persistent, and data-driven operations. Instead of relying on large aircraft or complex launch platforms, militaries can now use mobile vehicles to deploy coordinated waves of autonomous drones. These systems can share targeting information, adjust mid-flight, and respond faster to changing electronic conditions, all without direct human control. This trend is not limited to China. Worldwide, defense organizations are investing in similar technology, emphasizing endurance, autonomy, and smart targeting. The ASN-301 stands out because it embodies several core advances simultaneously. Broadband radar detection, 2 to 16 gigahertz, long-range loitering, multi-launch mobility, and precision guidance capable of engaging radar networks without human pilots. From a strategic perspective, this means that electronic warfare is becoming less about brute force and more about intelligence and adaptability. The ASN-301 is designed not merely to disrupt sensors, but to change how those sensors behave. It pressures operators to rethink when and how they emit radar signals, effectively reshaping tactics before any physical damage occurs. This indirect control over an adversary's decision-making is what makes loitering systems particularly influential in modern defense. Looking ahead, analysts expect further advancements, smarter seekers, enhanced swarm coordination, greater data link connectivity, and improved countermeasures. To cope, radar designers will pursue innovations such as frequency agile radars, mobile emission units, decoy emitters, and rapid redeployment vehicles. These counter systems will aim to restore the balance between detection and survivability. Ultimately, the ASN-301 represents more than a single piece of equipment. It's a symbol of how modern defense is transforming into a networked contest of sensors, signals, and smart machines. Just as space observatories revolutionized astronomy by expanding what we can see, radar networks revolutionized defense by expanding what can be detected. The appearance of the ASN-301 marks a technological milestone that extends beyond any single region. It showcases how innovation in autonomous systems can alter the balance of detection and response worldwide. As nations adapt to this new reality, one lesson stands out. In the era of intelligent drones and electronic precision, the advantage belongs not to those who see the most, but to those who can remain unseen the longest. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.